Hi, hello. This numerical is based on the previous video that is vertically upward projected body from the top of the tower and related numerical. See, a ball of mass 100 gram is projected vertically upward from the ground with a velocity of 50 meter per second. At the same time, another identical ball is dropped from a height of 100 to fall freely along the same path as that followed by the first ball after some time the second ball collide, stick together and finally fall to the ground. The time taken by the combined mass to fall to the ground is approximately. With diagram based on the question, we can get the answer. Okay, look at the board. Now considering here two bodies. Okay, so that first body is, this is the first body, first body, okay, and this is the second body, this is the second body, okay, first body is vertically projected with a velocity 50 meter per second, 50 meter per second, that is taken as here u okay that is u1 because of first body okay and second body is drop so this is the second body this is dropping that's why u2 is the initial velocity which is equal to zero which is equal to zero okay try to understand here capital h is the height of the okay body means that is the distance between the two bodies first body is vertically projected body second body is freely falling body then the distance between them is taken as the height of the two bodies simply height of the freely falling body okay so this is the ground see try to understand this height is given as 100 meter 100 meter now the body is moving downward direction the travel at certain distance the distance is taken as here x okay first body here this distance is okay 100 minus x so this is 100 minus x see try to understand okay and first body reach this position and second body reach here this is the second body now first body and second body combined so we have to take combined mass is m1 plus m2 see try to understand this body now both are combined to each other then this is like a vertically upward projected body from the top of the tower which is moving like this which is moving like this so here the velocity of the body is taken as v this is taken as initial velocity of the combination initial velocity of the combination okay so one thing we have to understand this first body final velocity we have to find second body final velocity we have to find and due to the law of conservation of linear momentum we will get the vr u of the combination of the body now step by step we will do the derivation see for this i am going to explain first freely falling body so this is the second body okay for second body using the formula s is equal to ut plus of at square so that formula is s s is equal how much distance travel okay x distance travel ut initial velocity is 0 plus 1 by 2 gt square this is freely falling body and downward direction a is equal to g here this is equal to a that is equal to acceleration due to gravity is positive 
see from this equation we got here x which is equal to 1 by 2 gt square is taken as equation number 1 okay and continuation next i am going to write for this first body for the first body for the first body see using the same formula so here the distance traveled by the first body is 100 minus x because of total distance between the two bodies is 100 and the first body okay travel distance is 100 minus x second body is x then here 100 minus x which is equal to ut u is equal to how much given that is u1 that is 50 okay into t plus 1 by 2 minus g into t square okay so this taken as equation number 2 now equation 1 plus equation 2 this is the equation 1 and equation 2 is add up then the resultant equation is so lhs side is 100 okay minus x and that value is x which is equal to okay rhs side value is here 50 t minus 1 by 2 gt square plus 1 by 2 gt square this value this value is get cancelled minus x plus x is get cancelled we got here 100 which is equal to 50 t okay so this is 2 we got t which is equal to 2 seconds and t is 2 seconds what is that value time taken by the two bodies to reach okay this position okay so first body time taken is t is equal to 2 seconds and second body freely falling body also time taken is 2 seconds we got the time here 2 seconds that is taken as equation number 3 equation number 3 now we can get equation from equation 1 x value so that equation 3 in equation 1 we will get x which is equal to 1 by 2 g value is 10 and t is equal to 2 square okay t is equal to 2 seconds that is whole square then the value of x which is equal to this is okay 20 meters we got here x is equal to 20 meters that is taken as equation number 4 okay after that we have to find the final velocity of the first body and second body so final velocity of the first body is taken as here v1 so this position the body reach this position then final velocity of the first body is v1 final velocity of the second body is v2 so i am going to write here final velocity okay of first body so for that the continuation equation is using the formula v is equal to u plus a t so here v is taken as v1 first body final velocity which is equal to initial velocity is how much given here 50 meter per second plus here a value is minus g and to t value is how much we got 2 seconds after solving this we will get here v1 which is equal to 50 g value is taken as here 10 meter per second square so that is 50 minus 20 which is equal to 30 meter per second so this is taken as equation number 5 okay so please note this then i will continue now continuation see we got t is equal to 2 seconds x is equal to 20 meters v1 is 30 meter per second from the continuation problem okay so then this is the final time taken by the combination of two bodies this is the first body moving up second is both are combined to move like this combined to move like this okay this is like a vertically upward projected body from the top of the tower 
that is completed concept in the previous video please watch that video okay for final velocity of the second body we have to find so that final velocity of second body is v2 for the basic formula is v2 which is equal to u plus gt g value is 10 and t is equal to 2 seconds okay already we know freely falling body acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square t is equal to 2 seconds we got the basic equation is here v is equal to u plus at formula okay from this equation v2 value which is equal to 20 meter per second so we got even final velocity of the second body here v2 value here v1 value according to the law of conservation of linear momentum before the collision momentum which is equal to after the collision momentum for this we are considering before the collision momentum first body is m1 same masses only okay so that is m of v1 minus okay m of v2 which is equal to m1 plus okay m2 of final velocity v individually taken here m1 is equal to m2 which is equal to 0 0.1 kg that is given as 100 grams 100 grams is converted into okay kgs that is 0 0.1 kg v1 v2 values we know very well and continuation equation is here 0 0.1 v1 v1 value is okay so that 30 okay minus v m2 value is 0 0.1 and velocity v2 value is how much we got 20 meter per second which is equal to m1 plus m2 that is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 into velocity is v so here 0 0.1 is 3 minus 2 okay which is equal to 0 0.2 into v here so this is 1 which is equal to 0 0.2 v so here velocity v is equal 1 divided by 0 0.2 so 1 divided by 0 0.2 is 1 by 5 okay so then v which is equal to 5 meter per second now continuation here we got the v is the final velocity of the combination of the bodies that is indirectly initial velocity of the combination of body combined bodies which are projected upward direction with initial velocity u which is equal to 5 meter per second from the top of the tower vertically upward projected body from the top of the tower concept that is our previous video please watch already i told you then the equation is h which is equal to minus ut plus 1 by 2 g t square try to understand here the value we have to replace that is h value the height of the combination is how much 100 minus x so this is 100 minus x which is equal to u u is equal to here this value 5 meter per second that is 5t okay minus 5t plus 1 by 2 g value is 10 meter per second square and time is equal here okay t we have to find that is t square this and that okay so t time we have to find time taken by the vertically upward projected body from the top of the tower to reach the ground okay so that here this value is 100 minus x x value is how much here 20 so 100 minus 20 which is equal to minus 5t plus 10 
this is we can write as okay so once and this is phi times so phi t square rearranging this equation that is phi t square minus phi t okay this is minus a t which is equal to 0 now continuation here phi is common that is t square minus t minus 16 which is equal to 0 0 by phi 0 by anything is 0 the formula is we have to find t which is equal to minus b so minus 1 okay so minus of minus is plus plus or minus b square b square is minus 1 square minus 4 ac a is 1 and c value is minus 16 divided by 2 into a is 1 okay after solving this we will get t which is equal to okay 1 plus or minus this value is this is 1 okay and minus of minus is plus then 16 into 4 is 64 so divided by 2 so t which is equal to that is 1 plus or minus root over 65 divided by 2 so t which is equal to 1 plus or minus root 64 that is approximately okay uh, 8 we can take 8 8 just 64 then we can write 8 divided by 2 and I will continue here that value okay so try to understand I am writing here continuation e which is equal to plus value we are considering that is 1 plus 8 divided by 2 so that t which is equal to 9 divided by 2 which is equal to okay 4.5 second is the answer for the given question thank you